What do you think of Purdue's path now? What do you think of Purdue's path? Uh, Gonzaga, to me, I think they'll beat the crap out of them. I, I, really I kind of, yeah, I, I think it's going to be interesting with that. They've already beaten both team, both Gonzaga and Tennessee. Not that I think that that really means all that much at this point. That was in November, which feels like it's like seven years ago. <laughs> and Gonzaga certainly is, is a different team since changing their starting lineup up. But I just don't feel like Gonzaga's strengths really hurt Purdue, I guess. It's not like that they've got, you know, the the guard play. And, and Nemhart is good. Don't get me wrong. Like he, but he's, I don't know. I, I just I don't feel like the matchup there. The Tennessee thing, if, if they beat Creighton, I think that that was a toss-up game in Maui. You know, that that was a totally kind of 50-50. It went Purdue's way. That would be a war. You know, and, and Tennessee has the physicality and the bodies, I think, to to at least throw at Edie. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel the, the same way. Um, but Gonzaga's playing good basketball. You know, after losing to, to St. Mary's in the in the WCC final, they, they've they've handled business in the tournament. You know, I, who have they beaten? I'm, they beat Kansas without. Oh, duh. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they I killed them, the but Kansas isn't Kansas. But Kansas is wounded. Like, that without McCuller, they, right. and they, they were not, you know, they, they're not the traditional Kansas team. But give Mark Few a lot of credit because they were a popular upset pick, and look at where they're at again, back in the Sweet 16. So you you just saw San Diego State in person twice. Yeah. Do they have any chance of beating UConn, Rob? They'd have to shoot it the way they did um, against Yale, which was shocking. <laughs> I mean, they, they made every shot, and they're a bad three-point shooting team. Right. In conference play, they're last in the Mountain West in three-point percentage, so... They'd have to do that again. Ladie is a problem. He's now, awesome, he he is a tank, and he he can make threes, and he makes pull ups, and he can face you up and drive you, and he can post up. It was funny. Dutcher said to us, "This is kind of like Dean Smith." He said that he's the reason that Ladie was not doing this last year. He goes, "I totally held him back <laughs> because he said with Matt Bradley being a guy that was really on the ball, and you're, you're playing, you know, Keisha Johnson's obviously pretty good, and Nate Mensa was really important to what they did. So where are you going to play him? They had to bring him off the bench. So they, he said that when he sat out for a year, that was two years ago now, he was murdering in practice, just just getting buckets. So I, he, he's a problem for UConn. That, that will be, you know, that's definitely number one on the scouting report. But they shot the ball so well. I think they made 13 threes. And that's not that's not the norm for them. They they normally have to beat you with their defense, but they were they they beat Yale with both offense and defense. Yeah, I'm worried about some of these Sweet Sixteen matchups being routes. I think the Elite Eights are going to shape up to be awesome, but I, I I think UConn may slaughter San Diego State. I think Purdue might slaughter Gonzaga. Like those are those are games I worry about a little bit. The other ones aren't as bad. Like you know Houston Duke. That's good. Going to be interesting. Going to be really good. Um, Creighton, Tennessee, we already talked about. Iowa State, Illinois should be really good. Um, Clemson, Arizona could be really good. I mean, do you like how this whole thing went where you had the upsets and now you've got pretty much all the, the big boys left? I mean, this yeah, I guess is other, other than NC State, right? Yeah. Um, they're, they're the lone double-digit seed. I don't know. Nobody, I mean, I, nobody worse my, than my favorite state. part of the tournament is the upsets, which is hilarious because last year – place i played had the biggest upset of them all um but i yeah i i'd like now i guess at this point you kind of can run out of gas you know like the 11 12 13 seeds sometimes get blasted right. in the sweet 16 i i don't know i i kind of like it more when there's more chaos this was kind of the, the chalkness of this is it's not bad it's just i my my this is so crazy my favorite days of the tournament are thursday and friday I, I love the first two days of the tournament so much. I really do. Um, and I guess the one thing that stinks about doing the games, and there's not many downsides because it's really awesome to do it, is that, that if you're a fan of the tournament, you're really just locked into your pod of games. Yep. I got to watch a little bit, but between the practices and then you, when you're doing your games, it's a marathon. you got four games in a row. You know, You don't get to watch – um, but I, I really do enjoy as a fan of college hoops, the Thursday, Friday, the fact that they're just rapid firing games off and there's three on at a time until, 
like 10 p.m. until yep. then you maybe start to slow down. That's my favorite part of the tourney. I I do think, and I agree that there there could be, although, you know, like Creighton, Tennessee, really a game. Duke, Houston, really a game. NC State's playing great. You know, that, that, that'll be interesting with Marquette. Gonzaga, Purdue, I, I hear you. It could, you know, I don't think that it's a great matchup for, for the Zags, but still, you know, that's to, to me though, it's fascinating that Gonzaga and Purdue have played three times since last year. <laughs> this will be the third game in two seasons. You know, that that's, and, and the, and also the fact that you've got set up in the Midwest regional, it's like the Maui Invitational. It could fall out that if Purdue were to win all of their games and Marquette were to win, you would have literally their same path from Maui. That's you would see them play Gonzaga, Tennessee, and then Marquette, which is very bizarre. 